welcome everyone in today's video we will see how to create such uh, shapes or print star patterns in lab view so here we will print right triangle mirror that right triangle or create pyramids in lab view so let's just get started so open the new file um, place it in here and similarly open the block diagram so let's just get started by placing a for loop so here I am going to place a for loop and then what I am going to use in this video I am going to use only the string functions like concatenate strings in concatenate string then I will go to create a string constant in string constant I will place a star that I will connect on the second port and I will connect that with my loop and replace that with the shift register and then connect it with my upper limit upper uh, port and then I will create a constant so that it will always start from nothing means no string then it will create the star pattern and then here I will give the basically the number of rows that I want to create so here I will give 10 and now what I need to do is I will again use concatenate string functions and place that in here connect with the central ones and for the lower ones I am gonna use end of line constant so that it will print first time the loop runs that will give me one star and this concatenate string will give me the end of line constant so that it will print only one star and in the next step we will have two stars and in the next step we will have three stars so i will connect that again with my loop and replace that with my shift register connect it again and here I will connect create a constant and here I will create an indicator so that's my indicator in here and if I run the program right now as you can see first is give me one star then two stars in the form of a right triangle I can even click change their size so that they will be more visible let's just say these are 24 size so this is giving me the right triangle right now now i want to create another shape in lab view so what if i want to create an inverted uh, right triangle or other things then what we can do so let's just see what how we can do it i will again place a for loop in it and this time what I'm gonna do is I am gonna multiply that or subtract that function with my inner loop so that it will give me the loop uh, this loop will give me the iterations like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 that will give me an opposite right triangle so again I will use the same functions but within the loop like create a constant and create a star and now it will be connected with the inner loop replace with the shift register connect it in here create a constant and then what we will do is now this time I will create the concatenate string function outside of this loop but within the first loop. So connect that in here and make a copy of end of line constant by pressing control and dragging and connect that again with the for loop, outer for loop and replace that with the shift register and connect that output with my first input in here of the concatenate string and again create a constant so let's just create a constant in here an indicator that will let's just see what kind of result it gives 
so as you can see if i just increase its size oops sorry if i just change its size to 24 as you can see this gives me an opposite uh, pattern like this was the right triangle this is just the inverted right triangle and now we can just drag it down in here and create some more uh, functions but before uh, moving further i want to create basically a pyramid so if i just concatenate these two outputs what will gonna happen is connect that in here and connect that in here and just remove replace or last value or you can just connect the output in here i just used this way but you can connect with this one as well so if i create an indicator in here then this will give me the complete half side of a crystal basically so you can place that in here and similarly you can we can create some other functions like this but we our purpose right now is to create the pyramid so again place a for loop in it here and this time what we are gonna do is I'm gonna multiply my this function 10 multiplied by 2 and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a subtract function multiplied my iterations with 2 I'll tell you why I'm doing this because I want to create a space basically before printing star I want to create a space so that's how it is right now and this time I'm gonna use basically a space constant so connect that in here connect with the output replace with the shift register connect that in here create a constant and now again concatenate the strings so first this will give me this much space and then this will print one uh, one, one star and then that's is how it will keep moving on unless we create a concatenate string and connect that in here connect the output again with the for loop replace with the shift register and connect that with this one and create a constant in here and here why i'm doing this is because of giving it end of line constant so connect that in here and create an indicator so let's see what kind of result it gives so this is giving me a triangle with left sided which means it gives me an opposite side right triangle if you want to increase its size then we can do it by doing this going to 24 and that's how this can be created so the last thing is we want to create a pyramid shape basically so we can do that by just increasing its size by once connect that with this one so here what we need to do is we will connect this output in here like that one which is also coming in here and we will connect that with this one and now as you can see the first one is just repeating itself within this array and i think we should go with the separate ones 
so what i will do it by creating another concatenate string so that i do not lose this string and then what i'm gonna do is again this time i'm gonna create the four inputs and the very first input will be our this one and the third input is will be our this one and the last one is just giving me a end of line constant and now if i connect it with my for loop replace with the shift register and connect that with my input of the concatenate string and create a constant in here and let's see how it works create an indicator so this is our this should be our pyramid oops although this is giving me a pyramid but this is just removed the top cherry of our tree so we can basically create uh, the one top size top star but that's not gonna give you sense of relaxation but I hope you can see how to create these many um, patterns in lab view.